Hi, I'm Lari, and welcome to your chest, tricep, and quad workout. We are combining upper and lower today. This uh, workout is part of my month three strength training program. All right, so what you're going to need today is a mat. You're going to need a set of dumbbells. The more dumbbells you got, the merrier. Everyone's gonna be different with their dumbbell selection. We wanna make those last couple reps feel pretty challenging, and if they don't, as long as you can keep your mind muscle connection in your form, go up in that weight if you have it available. We will also need a bench. Now, if you don't have a workout bench, you can grab a chair. I'm actually gonna switch to a chair at the end just because my chair is just a little bit higher and I like that extra range of motion. You'll see what I'm talking about. You're also going to need something to elevate your heels. So something about one to two inches in height. I am going to grab a hardback book, place it down, put my heels on it. You can grab two books, just make sure uh, and place one underneath each feet. Just make sure the book is the same height. So this is what I'm using. If you have a plate, feel free to use a workout uh, plate as well. All right, grab something to hydrate with as well. We will have built-in breaks to take those water breaks because we are gonna need it. This is all about strength training. So if you're looking for cardio, check out some of my other workouts. We're gonna get strong today. Grab all your stuff and let's get going. All right, our first superset is going to be dumbbell tricep extensions uh, with some incline tricep focus push-ups, working the chest and the triceps there. So go ahead, you can grab something a little bit lighter since this is our first exercise of the day. Go a little bit more conservative with your weight selection round one. We got three rounds, so we can always up it round two and round three. So I'll go a little bit lighter if you want. We got 15 tricep extensions, so dumbbell goes overhead, Equally distribute that weight in both hands from here. Hinge at the elbows. We should feel a big stretch along that tricep muscle. And then we bring it up, contract the tricep muscle. So control it down, bring it up. We have 15 total at your own pace. Let's go. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in Final the five And they'll never get out of Their feet in the fears and the doubts Ooh, Last three Two and one, set that dumbbell down. We have 60 seconds of incline tricep push-ups. As a modification, you can drop it to your knees to decrease your lever even more. So get into position. Elbows are going to hug in tight. So we want the elbows tight to the body. So we're gonna work the chest, a little bit of the front of the delts, and your triceps are gonna be your main focus here. Keep your abs tight while we go. In three, two, and one, let's work. Final 10 seconds. Last three, two, one more rep, and one. All right, nice work, shake it out. We got about 15 seconds and we're going for round two. So if you want, you can increase your weight selection a little bit on these tricep extensions. Oh, shake it out. Go ahead, grab that dumbbell, bring it overhead. We're hinging from the triceps, working that small muscle group. We go in three, two, and one, 15 total. Go 
Five more. Last three. Two. And one. Woo. Set that dumbbell down. All right, we're going for those tricep push ups. So if you need to, you can drop it down to the knees. You can take a break if you need to. Keep your form. Don't let those hips sink. Don't let them raise up in the air. If needed, drop the knees. Get into position, abs stay tight. We go in three, two, 60 seconds on. Elbows in tight to the body. Triceps are already on fire. Final 15 seconds. Come on, we got this. Last three, two, one more rep, and one. Oh. All right, we have about 15 seconds. We're doing that one more round, and then we'll take a nice little water break before we get into some quads, all right? If you want, you can grab two dumbbells, one in each hand. Just place those dumbbells together, rep it out that way. I'm gonna stick with just one. My triceps are on fire after that. Get into position. We got 15. We go in three, two, make them perfect. Five more. Last three. Two. And one. Whew. Set that dumbbell down. All right, final round of these incline tricep focus push ups. Shake it out. 60 seconds if you need to. Take a little break, then rejoin for whatever time we have remaining. Get into position. We go and three, two, abs stay tight, and one. Last three, two, and one more, one. Oh, so you can always do what I just did, finish with that drop set version. When you can't go anymore, release the knees and keep going. Grab that drink of water and meet me back on your mat. We will need your bench and whatever you're using to elevate your heels. I'm using a hard back foot. All right, y'all, our next super set of exercises are going to be focusing on your quads. We hit hammies and glutes a lot during this workout program. Now the focus is all about the quads. That's where I want you to shift the mind-muscle connection to, shift your focus into your quads. All right, so for our first exercise, we have dumbbell Bulgarian split squats. So we're gonna start with 10 reps, then 12, and then 15. So we're gonna go up a little rep count, or up a little rep ladder, and then we're going to superset that 
with some heels elevated goblet squats. You can grab a heavier weight here. Uh, I'm putting my weight like this, but you can do it down here if you want. Main focus in the quads as we uh, go up and down. All right, so grab a set of weights. We're starting with 10 Bulgarian split squats. Start with your weaker side first. That's my left side. So left heel's going forward. Right foot is going back on to the bench. If you need to release one weight, do one weight only and use a hand to help brace yourself against a wall or something sturdy. All right, I have my foot plantar flex. That feels good on my hip. So we're taking it straight up and down. So nice neutral spine. We bring it down, drive through the heel. I'm feeling this mainly in my quads, hamstrings, glutes, work around a little bit too, but quads are the main focus. Make sure we're not overextending that back hip too much. 10 total, normal tempo, let's go. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go ahead, switch sides, right foot forward, left foot back, get into position, keep your abs tight, stabilize those hips. Let's go, 10 total. Two more. And last one. Set those dumbbells down. Grab that heavier dumbbell if you can. Elevate your heels on that book or whatever you got. Whew. Keep the knees behind the toes to help protect the knees. Heavy in the heels. Down and up in those squats. 60 seconds we go. And three, two, and one. Final five, four, three, two, and one. All right, 15 seconds to recover. Then we go back to those Bulgarian split squats. This time, I'm going to dorsiflex at the ankle. I want you to do that as well, and then see if you like dorsiflexing or plantar flexing a little bit better. Do whatever feels better on that back hip. Whew. This time, 12 reps on each side. Try to maintain that same weight, but you can lower it if needed. Weaker side first for me, that is my left side. Neutral spine, straight up, straight down. Quads are the focus. Here we go. Get into position. Brace the core, help stabilize those hips. We go in three, two, and one. Last two, and last one. Switch sides. Deep breath, let's go. And three, two, and one. Last one, drive it up, shake it out, grab that heavy weight, 
heels elevated, goblet squat. If this feels uncomfortable, see if changing the dumbbell right below, uh, right below this area feels a little better. It's always an option. Quads are our focus, that's why we're elevating those heels. So maintain the tension in the quads throughout. We're here for 60 seconds. We go, and three, two, and one, let's work. Final 15. Last three, two, and one. Oh, set that dumbbell down. Don't go too far with it. We're doing that one final time. This time, Bulgarian split squats, 15 on each side. What do you like better, plantar flexing, point the toes, or dorsi flexing? I prefer plantar flexing. I've done it numerous times. I know which way I like better. You may be different. Neither is right nor wrong. The only right way is the way that works best for you. Where do you feel the best engagement in your quad? That's forward. And we wanna just minimize any pressure on that hip. All right, I'm out of breath. Grab those dumbbells. 15 on each side, do that weaker side first, and then it's gonna be a piece of cake on the stronger side if you have that happening. I do, I work at it a lot. Let's go, 15 total in three, two, and one. Final five, last five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, switch sides. Right foot forward, left foot back, plant, set yourself first. Make sure that base is solid, then we go in three, two, and one, 15 total. Final five. Last three, two, and one. Set those dumbbells down. Final round, goblet squats, heels elevated. I have a slight turnout of my feet, slight external rotation of the hips to make sure my knees are driving out. Make sure those knees are not caving in. That is not good. doesn't matter how low you can go. If you like that to the grass version, like I do go there, but you can always reduce the range of motion. Just bring it parallel. 60 seconds. Get into position. Abs stay tight. We go in three, two, and one. Let's go. Final 15.
Last five, four, three, two, one more rep, and one. We break. Set that dumbbell down. We're done with this book. It's a great book, by the way. I'll link it below. Uh, grab that drink of water. Next up, we got a trio. We're hitting the chest. Chest press on your bench flat. Chest press dumbbells. Then we take it to some tricep bench dips. And then we have a different variation of a push up. It's really gonna target the entire chest. But first, let's treat ourselves to that drink of water. All right, y'all. Next up, we have dumbbell flat bench chest presses. Uh, so the bench will provide you with greater range of motion compared to if you do it on the floor. We're gonna be stopped right here. This will allow for greater range of motion. You can always do it on the floor. Uh, one count pause at the bottom before driving up. Other than that, normal tempo. Then we're gonna hit some triceps. We got bench dips. I'll throw some challenges out there if you want that. And then we're going to end with some push-ups. So for your push-ups and for your chest presses, it's gonna be really gnarly on that shoulder if we bring it out here. That's not gonna feel very good. So instead of bringing it out here, we're gonna bring it slightly down. So 90 degrees, zero degrees, about a 45 degree angle is gonna feel really good on those shoulders. So uh, that's what I'm recommending for you, but you can always do what feels best for your body. All right, so heavier dumbbells with this chest press. Uh, so grab it, whatever you got, we're gonna use. I'll give you this view for round one. We're coming all the way down to, to your bench. Now, if you have separation of your abdominals, you may want to place your feet on the bench. Uh, you may not be able to go as heavy there, but it may just feel better on your separation. If you're doing it, hopefully you are seeing a physical therapist as well. Just wanna throw that out there. All right, so here we go. We got 15 total, one count pause at the bottom. We go in three, two, and one, 15. Last two and last one. Nice work. All right, bring it on up, set those dumbbells down. Now we're going into tricep bench dips. If you want, you can set a dumbbell on your lap. Just be very careful that it's not falling off. You can also elevate your feet for an additional option. Elbows in tight, full range of motion, normal tempo, high rep count since most of us are gonna be doing body weight only. So 20 total, I'll give you a demo. All the way down, about 90 degree bend with the elbows, tension at the triceps. Then we press it right back up. Keep that booty close to your bench or your chair. 20 total, let's go. Final five. And last one. All right, now we're about to have some fun with these push-ups. Now, I'm going to be doing it a slightly different way. If you want a challenge, you can stay off the knees the entire time. But we're doing this for 60 seconds. It's gonna be a long 60 seconds. Here's how we're gonna do it. Three count eccentric, so three count lowering phase with knees off of the ground. So it's three, two, one. One count pause, release the knees, one count on the concentric portion. So three counts as we lower off the knees, release the knees, then push up. Y'all, about halfway through, I'm telling you, it's gonna be challenging. If you want that challenge, stay off the knees the whole time. Do it that way. Option modification on the knees the whole time. Here we go, 60 seconds on. And three, two, and one. Three, two, one count pause, release the knees, drive it up. Off the knees again, 
three, two, one. Knees down, press off, curl the toes, knees off. You got it now. It's getting hard. Come on, we got about 20 seconds left. This will be our last rep. And rest. Nice work. We got about 15 seconds before we go again. I'm going to flip my bench super quick so you can see a different view. All right, we have those 15 chest presses, normal tempo. We're gonna add that little count or one count pause at the bottom uh, before pressing it back up. So get into position, go heavier. If round one didn't feel challenging enough, go a little bit heavier as long as you can keep your form and your mind muscle connection. We go in three, two, and one, 15 total. Final three. And last one. Nice work. Set those dumbbells down. Now we go into those bench dips. If you want a challenge, you can elevate the feet or set a dumbbell in your lap. Elbows in tight. We have 20 total at your own pace. We go in three, two, and one. Five, four, three, last two, and one. All right, I'm flipping my bench back. Meet me for those push-ups. All right, how did you feel round one? If it was a piece of cake, you can always stay off the knees the entire time if you need to. You can always stay on the knees. Take a little breather at the halfway point and then rejoin. We go, 60 seconds. And three, two, and one. Let's work. Three count down. One count pause, release the knees. One count, press it up. Oh, this time's gonna be a little bit more challenging, at least for me. This will be our last rep. Press it up and recover. We got about 15 seconds and then we go for a final round. If we're hitting a quick quad circuit, then we are done. All right, final round of these chest presses. If we can, we're maintaining the same weight. You can always increase, but if you start to lose your form, if that ever slips, decrease the weight selection 
or if you don't have lighter weights, you can always decrease the rep count if needed. All right, I'm gonna give you a final view <laughs> facing the other way. 15 total chest presses, pause at the bottom. We go in three, two, and one. Let's work. Three more. Last two. Last one. <sighs> nice work. Bring it on up. We're going into those tricep extensions. If you want that challenge, if you have a chair, you can elevate the feet. You can set a dumbbell in your lap. Just be very careful that it does not fall off. We go 20 total. We go in three, two, and one. Final round. Final five. Last two. Last one. And shake it out. Push ups. This one, this round's gonna be very challenging for me. If you need to, take a little pause. Breathe, shake it out, then finish up however long we have left. 60 seconds, then we get a little break before we hit our final superset of the day. Final upper body exercise. We go, keep the abs tight, as tight as possible. And three, two, and one. Let's work. Three, two, one. Pause, release knees, drive it up. You got this. Quality over quantity. Remember that. Make every rep as perfect as possible. Let's make a run together. I'll be by your side before we collide. And if the sky falls down on you, just beat it up. Final rep. We got this. and recover. Oh, nice work. Grab that drink of water. We're on to our final superset of the day. All right, y'all, for our final superset of the day, it's gonna be all about the quads. First up, we have dumbbell front lunges. We're going to alternate, so left and right. We'll start with 10 each side, then we're going up to 15 each side, and then 20 each side. So it's gonna become increasingly more difficult. You can start with a heavier weight selection and taper down if you want, or you can stick with the same weight. Now, second exercise, leg extensions. You can do it with a dumbbell, or a band. Uh, I'm using a dumbbell because not everyone has those long bands and I'm using a light weight uh, also on my chair so I can get an increased range of motion. We bring it up, big squeeze of the quads at the top, bring it on down and we're just repping it out for 60 seconds. So squeeze the quads, control it down. I don't get a full range of motion or else I'm dragging this dumbbell, but it's gonna, it's gonna do the trick just fine. 
Okay, first up, alternating front lunges. We go, get into position. You can have them to the side up here, whatever feels better for you. It's all about the quads. We go in three, two, and one. Drive through the heel to bring it up. Good, other side. Alternate left and right. Abs have got to stay tight to help stabilize those hips. So if your abs are not engaged, you're gonna be kind of wonky. Your balance is gonna be off. So keep the abs tight. Quads are getting it all. Two more each side. Last one. And set those dumbbells down. All right, 60 seconds. Leg extensions. I'm using a dumbbell, but you can use a band from behind as well. Squeeze the quads at the top. So one count pause at the top. We're gonna add that squeeze. We go in three, two, and one. Big squeeze, control it on the way down. One count here. And my five pound weight is feeling like 50. Final 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Legs are shaky now. All right, shake it out. <laughs> Literally shake it out. All right, we're going for front lunges, 15 on each side. That is 30 total. We are repping it out. Keep your forehead perfect. Keep that mind muscle connection perfect. Try to maintain the same weight. But if you need to, you can always decrease. We're going front lunges. This may feel a little awkward for some of us. It does for me. Uh, we're shifting the focus to your quads. These are a great way to hit the quads at home. 15 each side, let's go. Alternate, right then left. Abs stay tight to stabilize your hips. If I'm going too fast, I want you to slow it down. I hold on to this storm cause I need to be swept away, swept away. I, I'm cornered in the cold where you left me, left again, left again. Oh, there's a jungle in my head. Five more each side. Last one each side. And set those dumbbells down. All right, leg extensions. Round two, adjust your weight accordingly. We know what's coming, we know what it felt like round one. Keep the weight, uh, increase it, decrease it. It's up to you. This is gonna be just fine for me. One count pause at the top, we go. And three, two, and one, let's work. Squeeze, control it. One count pause at the top. Get those quads fired up. Put your hands on them. They should be nice and firm at the top.
five more seconds. Last rep. Three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, shake it out. We have our most reps of those front lunges coming our way. 20 on each side, 40 total. Take your time, go slower than me. I don't rush it though. Oh, I know we wanna get them done pretty quick, but maintain that great, great form. If you need to, you can lose the weights. If ever it becomes too much, just finish up with body weight, make a little drop set. Here we go. 20 each side, final round. We go in three, two, and one. Let's do it, y'all. We came here to work. Let's put it in. What doesn't challenge us won't change us. <sighs> Sorry, I sang. <laughs> Halfway through. Five more. Two more each side, you got this. We got this, come on. One more each side. And set those dumbbells down. All right, this is it. Final exercise, leg extensions. Maintain that one count pause at the top. If they start looking like partials, that is okay. You can always drop it to body weight if needed or decrease the weight selection. We go in three, two, and one, 60 seconds. Squeeze the quads, bring it down. You may feel your adductors start to work as well, those inner thighs. This is it, y'all. Final 30 seconds. Fight through it. I know it is burning. We want to quit, but keep going. We got this. Come on. I'm right there with you. My legs are shaking. Fight for every single rep. Final 10. Three. Two, now we're holding at the top, 15 seconds. Come on, hold it, hold it. It's burning, isolate and hold, 10. Last five, four, three, two, and set that dumbbell down. We are done, holy moly. Nice work, awesome job. We rock, <laughs> that was tough. All right, let's stretch it out, a little cool down stretching. Ah. <sighs> Go ahead, use a wall or a chair to help stabilize yourself because I'm feeling a little shaky right now. Right heel goes in towards the glutes. Try to grab that foot if it's attainable. And we're just gonna hit that right quad. Feel a nice stretch from the right hip down to the right quad, maybe even into the right knee. We're pulling the heel in. If you wanna feel something different, uh, kick the foot into the hand. And then open up the chest. That'll open up the chest a little bit more, creating a little bow with the body. But if you're craving more quads, just do that. We'll hit chest, don't worry. All right, let's switch sides. Whew. 
nice work today. I'll be adding some uh, cardio after this workout. So if you want some additional cardio or a short, quick ab video, I'll add it at the end. But wanted to just keep this super simple uh, for mama three. There's a method to this madness. What a weird combo, right? Well, it's because this is part of my month three training program. All right, let's hit those triceps. Inhale, arms up. Grab a hold of that left tricep and exhale, side bend up and over to the right. And if it's if you can't find month three, it's because I'm still filming and still editing. This is day three of the month three strength training program. So you will find no built-in cardio for this entire program, but I will have additional cardio uh, videos. Uh, attached in the description and additional ab videos attached in the description because uh, sometimes we like to go outside for our cardio you want to walk you want to run and that's super cool do it if it if you have that available but some of us don't so that's why I'm gonna keep on providing cardio only workouts as well all right let's stretch out the chest then we're done inhale arms reach up as we exhale cactus those arms draw the elbows slightly behind the rib cage look up one more time inhale up Exhale and open. Nice work today. You rock. Let me know how you did in the comments below and have a wonderful rest of your day.